Now consider this example and here in this example we are covering all the cases, uh, all the different uh, associative mapping, different uh, mapping techniques and I designed this example just so that we'll be able to make a clear difference between all the three mapping techniques that uh, how many bits will be there for sets, how many bits will be there for tags and uh, how many bits will be there for representing the uh, block number or you can say the line number okay so uh, for direct mapping I've already taken this example before but again I'm going to cover this example here so here they are saying consider a cache with 256 blocks so I'm creating a, a diagram here so that you will be able to understand uh, what uh, I'm teaching so this is representing the cache memory and they are saying in this cache memory if we say the number of blocks so like this 0 1 2 3 up to 7 to 55 there are 256 blocks and size of every block is of 16 words okay that means if we take the address in case of direct mapping this is representing the direct mapping here and uh, next one will be representing the associative mapping and the last one will be representing the set associative mapping this is representing the set associative mapping okay now in case of direct mapping associative and set associative we create uh, no differentiate only in the case of uh, the main memory address or the word address here they are giving that this addresses which are used for the main memory that is of 16 bits a total of 16 bit addresses are there so here also in all these three cases we'll be having 16 bit addresses so let me draw it to you like this so this is the first one for direct mapping hmm. so this is for associative mapping this is for set associative mapping with two way set associative and this is for four way set associative mapping okay so in case of direct mapping in case of direct mapping the entire address entire 16 bit address will be divided into three parts number one is the offset number two is the line number and number three is the tag in case of associative mapping this entire address will be divided into two parts number one is the offset number two is the tag here the entire is 16 bit again which they already given in the question and in case of set associative mapping we have two way set associative and we have four way set associative mapping okay so this entire address will be divided into three parts number one is the offset number two is uh, number two is the set number and number three is the tag again same thing offset set number and the tag okay now in case of direct mapping the offset is will remain the same in all these three mappings either it is direct mapping associative mapping or set associative mapping if they are saying it is of 16 words every uh, block or every line is of 16 words therefore the offset will be of 4 bits right because we require it 16 words can be represented as 2 raised to the power 4 words so to uh, represent the address of every word we require 4 bits so here the offset will be a 4 bit again here also the offset will be a 4 bit again here also the offset will be of 4 bits again 4 bits okay so obviously just by doing this we solve the problem of associative mapping because the rest of the bits here because the total was of 16 bits out of the 16 bits we have 4 bit for offset so total we will be having 12 bits so the tag bits tag will be having 12 bits in case of associative mapping now in case of direct mapping we have to put the line number and this line number is dependent on how many cache lines are there so they have already given us that there are 256 cache lines so these 256 cache lines can be represented by 2 raised to power 8 lines therefore the address which are required to represent every cache line is of 8 bit hence this in case of direct mapping the line number will be of 8 bits and total these two are of 12 bits 
and the number of bits which are remaining is 4 so the tag bits are of 4 tag will be of 4 bits in case of direct mapping now in case of set associative mapping number one we have two way set associative a second one we have four way set associative so in case of set associative mapping if we divide this entire memory in two way sets that means in every set we'll be having two blocks then uh, how many sets can be there or if in every set we'll be having uh, two lines then how many sets can be there there are 256 lines in we dividing 256 lines in two sets so we'll be having a total of 128 sets to represent 128 sets we re require 7 bits so here the set number is of 7 bit in case of two way set associative hence if the set number is of 7 bits then how many bits are required to represent the tag so f to represent the tag it is 7 plus 4 so out of 16 we require 5 bits okay when we have four way set associative mapping that means these 256 will be divided by 4 so we will be having a total of 64 sets to represent 64 sets we require 6 bits hence the set bits are 6 are of 6 bits therefore the tag bits are also of 6 bits right so you can see in case of two way set associative there will be more number of sets in case of four way set associative there will be, there will be less number of sets and because there will be less number of sets hence we require uh, less bits to represent sets what if it is of eight way set associative in case of eight way set associative offset will remain the same four bit but for the bits which are required to represent set number that will be 256 divided by 8 that will give you 32 which requires 5 bits to represent the address so that that will be 5 bit of address hence in case of 8 way set associative the size of the tag bit will be 8 so because 5 plus the size of the tag bit will be 7 bits okay in case of 8 way set associative hence you can say if you increase the set size uh, or you can say for example here the set size of 8 here the set size of 4 here the set size of 2 if you increase the set size then the number of bits required to represent the tag that will also increase okay so right so this is the difference between all these three mappings